a very unusual animal. It lives on the dry land in the terrestrial area in a hole down in the freshwater lens. That's where it hibernates. Then in the summer and spring, when the rains come and it fills the wetland with fresh water, and some folks say the thunder and lightning also wakes them up because that's when the thunderstorm comes. The crabs, it's time to come out. And the men come out first, the male crab, and he starts to eat all the nice fresh leaves and everything that's nice and moist and rotting and build his strength up. And then the females come out, they mate. This is how the crab then mate. They will lock into each other, belly bands will open, and the man crab will hold the woman crabs in a position like that. And that's how they get along. It's they are not in that mood right now. And then all of a sudden, that's it for the men. They're pushed aside, they go back and just eat and stay big, fat, and dumb. And the females, they continue a vigilant march of feeding and heading straight to the ocean to deliver their young. And they give birth in the sea, in the salt water. And these young crabs stay in the salt water for months as little larvae, and then they crawl onto the land as crabs, and then take a slow journey for three years back to the wetlands where they start to become adults. And it's this continuous process, connectivity between the fresh water, the terrestrial terrain, the mangroves, the beach, and the sea that makes the crab the king of Africa.